everyone, in this video we'll have a look at how to manipulate and uh, create cameras in Akitsu. So open up the Pilchustrus test file, click on the camera here, and uh, with the right click, delete this. It's better. Switch to the rigging mode, and then to create a camera, simply click on this button in the rig atelier. This will simply create a new camera. Each time you create a camera in Akitsu, it will create a character with the camera name. By default, it's camera 01, 02, 03, but if you want, you can, of course, rename the camera. If you want to um, view through a camera, you can click in this button choose animated camera and you can choose which camera you want to view through. As an example, just move out this one. So it's the hello camera. Let's jump first to the camera zero one so I can see my camera here. If I middle click I can pan my view, right click and I can zoom in, zoom out, and middle click, I can orbit my view. So if I click again on the camera name here, and go to animated camera and pick the hello one, I will have a different view. That's just because I've changed that camera view. Other parameters uh, that are available when you are looking through a camera are, uh, the ratio, so if you want to change it under this, okay, it's really cool if you want to make cinematic shots. Then you have the uh, landscape or portrait mode. And finally you have the near clip and the far clip. So if I change this, you can see that some uh, elements get cutted out of the view, like so. So basically the near clip is just a plane uh, from which uh, starts the uh, actual uh, draw of my polygons, of my scene. And the far clip, it's, uh, it's just where it ends. Um, so it's cool if you have very large scenes or very tiny scenes to adjust this to change the, the unit mode, the unit setup. Of your scene. So the camera will be able to uh, capture pretty well uh, the polygon and avoid a Z fight. Next, uh, let's see how we can um, control our camera a bit better. So, um, jump back to the default camera in perspective view and let's pick up uh, one of these cameras. Uh, so, maybe, yeah, this one. Um, so your camera has two components. Of course, the camera crane, like this, so you can move your view, and the target. In the build pose, you are not um, allowed to move the target. You can do this in the paint and check, or in animation later, of course. By moving the target, you will be able to, uh, for example, set the focus point of your camera somewhere on your character. So maybe the eye. Let's say the eye. Okay, cool. Then, if I want to move my camera and uh, keep looking at the eye of the character, I will need to turn this camera in blue. To do this, simply right click on it and your camera will uh, go from free mode to target mode. And that's super cool. In Akitsu you don't have to create free camera and then camera with a target or not. Um, and it's simply reachable with a single click. This works exactly like um, eye case. Um, I mean about keyframes, so you have keyframes that are in white, in free mode, and others that are in blue, so in target mode. 
when your camera is in blue and you want to rotate, you can only access the blue axis. If you are in local, of course. If you are in world, every axis are available, but only at the closest one will really work. Closest one uh, from the forward uh, direction. So here again, it's the blue one. But this uh, gives you kind of a subtle way to adjust your uh, your plate. So this could be cool to switch to world space at some point. You have also the screen space mode. Then if you look at the spinner, you have a new button. When you pick up your camera and throw your target inside uh, a character or the scene, you may want at some point to retrieve the target uh, at its initial position um, regarding the camera. So you have this little button here, which simply pulls back the target on the camera. It's really, really cool to, to play with. So then about the layout setup, let's see how we can proceed. So hit F2. So we will have both uh, the big view here and the little one here. Select any of these camera. So let's pick up this one and hit Shift V. So you will look through this camera. So here I can rotate my view to see, okay, I want to move my target here. And then if you want, you can right click there and move around. If you need to adjust the plate angle, you can use the double click when you're in blue mode. This will allow you to change it. You can also change from blue to white if you are in full uh, camera view or if you look through a camera in this little view by clicking on this uh, big button. If I go in this view, so click inside of it and hit F1, it will maximize my uh, actual camera view. Okay. And then I could need at some point to go from white to blue. And that's how I proceed. The perspective view are the two uh, view layout is quite useful when you need to uh, move the target or the camera maybe around your character. So that's it for the controls of the camera. Let's jump to the animation uh, side of it. So I will delete first uh, every camera I don't need. Okay, cool. So when you go in animation, if you've uh, changed the bind pose, the big pose, like I did, Akitsu will ask you to uh, update, convert your animation. You can do this or, or not. It, it won't change anything uh, since the camera has no animation at all. So. Then uh, I will create a first animation, name it uh, like you want. So camera motion. Okay, it's not super original, uh, of course, but it's just to show you how to proceed. So here I've got my first key and my camera is here. If I want, I can start by moving the, the target here, turn the camera blue, maybe move it a little bit uh, upper, and then start creating other keyframes. Maybe like so. At any time, I can reach out these uh, settings to adjust. Uh, maybe the near clip, which here was not uh, quite good. Uh, maybe change the, the, um, the framing if I want. Um, okay, and then since I've moved my camera, I can see that it's animated. I can create some in-betweens. I can also display my ghosts. And even, which is really practical for camera, display ghosts, but I'm on frames. So I can 
clearly see how my camera evolves. On each keyframe, I can edit, uh, of course, the transform of the camera. If the camera is in blue, I can't access much more than the blue uh, rotate uh, axis. But if my camera is white, I can also access the, the other uh, values. And I have, of course, the FOV, which is pretty uh, cool to play with. So if I hit uh, another value here, I can see that my FOV changes. I can adjust my FOV by going through the uh, curve editor. So open up the curve editor by clicking on uh, spacebar, then hit shift, right click, and isolate camera channels. So you will have only camera um, transforms. So there I, I don't see anything since I was not on the, on the keyframe, so I can adjust the FOV here, here. And here, as you can see, it changes my FOV. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you've learned a few things and uh, See you next time.